welcome back historians and thank you for tuning in to this edition of Curious Curators at the Sanford Museum. My name is Tyler Hahn and I'm one of the museum assistants here and today I'm standing in front of a giant mammoth tusk that was actually excavated in Crawford County in 1952. All of the exhibits that you see out in the museum are actually prepared by staff members. Oh, there's a lot of work and a lot of time that goes into putting out um, artifacts and getting exhibits ready. One of the um, displays that we have right now is our Ice Age fossils. I'm in front of a mammoth tusk and mammoths were really neat creatures. They actually roamed um, in Iowa about 10 to 13,000 years ago. And one of the really neat things that uh, about mammoths is that their tusks actually grew in rings like trees. A lot of times when paleontological specimens are brought in, they're often fragments like this, or incomplete specimens such as this. It takes a lot of time and effort in order to complete a specimen to look like this. A couple of the tools that um, are needed in order to go ahead and work on a project such as this is you need to stabilize the um, tusk or specimen. And in this case, we actually use an acryloid called acryloid B72. So we would dissolve this in an ethanol-based solution in varying viscosities. So it would penetrate the different rings and layers of the tusk. From there, we actually went ahead and after we pieced everything together, used a hardening resin um, sculpt in order to fill out and flesh out which pieces were missing, as you can see from right here. While um, watching the previous um, restoration. This tusk was actually in two different pieces when we went ahead and started working on it. And one of the biggest um, hurdles to overcome was actually reattaching this tip. As you can see right here, it was completely broken off. Now, there wasn't necessarily a tool available to go ahead and reattach this. Rather, we had to be inventive and think of other ways and um, ideas to go ahead and re uh, to reattach this. So as, long, as well as having the paleo sculpt um, hardening resin that we used, we also used uh, medical Coban tape to go ahead and reattach and reaffirm and anchor the tip onto the tusk. Mammoths and mammoth tusks are not the only thing that we actually have within the collection. We have a multitude of Ice Age megafauna, from we have Ice Age horses to camels. We even have the dire wolf skull, which you can actually find in the exhibit area. The museum also has a large collection of bisons and bison skulls that you can see behind me as a part of our collection. And one of the differences you can see in the exhibit area between mammoths and mastodons are their teeth. Mammoths were more general grazers and would feed on grasses and wildflowers, whereas mastodons would go ahead and lift and feed on trees and tr on twigs and shrubbery. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Curious Curator Mammoth Undertaking, and we'll see you around within our paleontological collection.